Hey, how's it going? Are you Warren? Yeah, I'm Warren. Hey, come on back, man. You brought a Buddha. Yep, this is the Buddha. Hey, I'm Corey. Yeah, Corey. Nice That's to meet cool, you, man. man. So you want to get a Buddha? Yeah, right, pretty much hey, right yeah. like that. Are you guys related? I, exactly, right? <laughs> wow, how cool. The tattoo I'm getting today is the Fat Buddha, also known as Laughing Buddha. It's going to be on my belly, and the belly buttons of the Buddha and myself will match up. Here, why don't you yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, whip your belly out there. Let me check out what you got here. Oh, man. All right. Can we do it in black and gray? or Black color? and gray is cool. Cool, yeah. yeah. And basically, this, this type of pose, yeah? Yeah. Mm-hmm. For me personally, it's a reminder uh, to stay on the right path, to live life to my fullest potential, and outwardly, it's a really funny tattoo. I think a lot of people will enjoy it. Are you Buddhist? Yeah. It's the one religion that really appeals to me, so. Yeah, that's a good one, huh? Yeah. You know, I'll probably just draw it on you. Okay. You start from scratch. He had this nice statue as a reference, so uh, there wasn't a lot of detail in it. I just basically drew the shape of the common Buddha, and uh, th that was real fun for me. The beauty of freehand is, you know, you have nothing to check it up against. It's always right. I, I designed it. It's my role, so I get to play Mother Nature, so there you go. Cool, man. That's just, that's just bootyful. Awesome. <laughs> All right, man, go ahead and uh, take a look over there in the mirror. Oh, man, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be pretty funny. It looks cool, dude. Great. All right. Get going on this bad boy. Warren came in today to get a tattoo of Buddha on his belly. And it was really clever. He wanted the, his belly button to be the Buddha's belly. And uh, man, he just looked just like Buddha. I thought it was a really clever tattoo. And uh, I was really excited about doing it. So uh, did, is Buddha a nickname for you? No, no. It's just something I uh, got into, like, I don't know, five or six years ago. Buddhism? Yeah, yeah Buddhism in I general. I would be surprised if it turns into a nickname for you. Yeah, I know, especially you. now. When I got interested in Buddhism, I was a late teenager, and Buddhism really struck a chord with me. Um, it was already everything I already believed in, so that, that tends to help. Buddha was a real, a, a real, real person, man, yeah, real person. yeah. Um, and But there's... Buddha's basically a, a general term, anyone that's enlightened. Like, this guy's not the original Buddha. Uh, this is a... I've never heard that. That's why it's always yeah. confused me. Oh, yeah, there's... So there's, a Buddha is an enlightened one. Yeah. That's why there's a, there's a fat so many Buddha, different a happy types of Buddha, Buddhas. a skinny Buddha. Exactly, yeah. That's amazing. And very ironic, you know, I guess uh, Warren has kind of taken on the, uh, the position of, of his tattoo. He's become a Buddha, because today he kind of enlightened me a little bit, told me a little bit about the... Buddhist philosophy. You getting this piece just as a conversation piece, or? Uh, yeah, or that's like, part of it, but mostly it's a reminder for me to kind of stay on the right path. Like, this is something I can look down at throughout the rest of my life and smile about it and make sure that I'm, you know, doing the right thing. Um, all in all, it's just a really fun tattoo. I like putting the detail on the kimono. Warren wanted some kind of base, and a, a common base is a lotus, and uh, I didn't put a whole lot of emphasis on it. The main picture of that is the face and the, the beautiful detail and the uh, robe on it. All right, Warren. I think uh, you've been reincarnated into a Buddha. <laughs> Take a look in the mirror and tell me what you think. All right, man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, that's so good. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, he came out cool, dude. I feel a little bit more enlightened already. I totally love this tattoo. It's something I've been working towards for over five years, and it's finally come, and it's there, and it's better than I ever thought it could be. When I'm 80, uh, this tattoo will definitely still make me laugh, and uh, I'll still appreciate it. And Hopefully, you know, I'll still be on the right path. <laughs>